Hey everyone, Ryan here. Just wanted to do a quick video here for you about, well, you guessed it, or you just saw the thumbnail and title of the video, Cyberpunk. Oh, and uh, subscribe by the way if you want. Cyberpunk is returning to the PlayStation Store June 21st. Multiple outlets are reporting that Cyberpunk is set to return to the PlayStation Digital Storefront, Polygon reports. Cyberpunk 2077 will return to Sony's PlayStation Store on June 21st, more than 180 days after the PlayStation 4 version of the game was pulled from sale by Sony amid complaints about the game's performance. The announcement was made in a regulatory disclosure by by CD Projekt, parent company of CD Projekt Red. Polygon has reached out to Sony for confirmation. Now, if you click the link here in this article, it brings you to that regulatory document that we just mentioned, where it just says that Sony has decided to reinstate the game to its digital store. Obviously, I think this document was likely made for investors. Not that it was hidden from the public because it's here, we can see it, but I don't think it was meant for us. It was more meant for investors just to say, hey, uh, the game's coming back to the storefronts of PlayStation. So there you have it. Cyberpunk will be back on PSN. Pop the champagne, boys, you've done it. It's been a long time coming, and it's actually surprised to me that it's taken this long to be brought back to that digital storefront. It was delisted shortly after its release in December, as you might recall, so we're going on a little over six months since it has been gone from the digital store, uh, indirectly kind of allowing Xbox to have a kind of digital console exclusive of sorts, if such a thing exists. Obviously, that didn't stop Cyberpunk from selling over 13 million copies before the end of the year last year, which, if you think about it, is kind of crazy considering that the game came out towards the end of the year last year, December 10th to be exact. And on top of that, it's even more astounding considering the amount of copies of the games that had been refunded since, though apparently that's only a drop in the bucket if we're going based off the numbers. GameRant quotes data reported by Daniel Ahmad, an analyst that tracks video game sales. According to Ahmad's research, 56%, 7.67, million of copies were sold on PC, 28%, 3.84 million of copies were sold on PS4, and 17%, 2.33 million copies were sold on Xbox One. Of these sales, 73%, 10 million of Cyberpunk 2077 copies were sold digitally. This means that only 27% of players purchased a physical copy of Cyberpunk 2077. When considering that the game was pulled from the PlayStation Store, this becomes even more surprising, as PlayStation players would have had to purchase physical copies in order to play the game after that point. This is an incredibly interesting turn of events, and I think it honestly just goes to show the kind of hype and anticipation that was surrounding surrounding Cyberpunk, it would seem like gamers were still not deterred in purchasing the title despite the various bug reports and issues. I myself experienced a ton of issues myself, and the only one that really bothered me more than all of them was the constant crashing, even on PS5. Now look, visual and sound bugs are terrible and shouldn't happen, but if I have to deal with them, I can probably get over them, right? Sure. But crashing straight up just stops you from playing the game. Nothing more disruptive than experiencing a freeze frame, followed by a screen telling you the game has crashed. Would you like to report it? You bet your ass I do. The other part that is fascinating about this whole ordeal is PlayStation's inherent saltiness towards CD Projekt Red. Now, obviously the game being released buggy and broken was bad for CD Projekt Red and likely didn't make Xbox or PlayStation happy, but CD Projekt Red then pushed the responsibility of returns onto them, which I guess didn't make them any happier after that. We know that they kind of pissed PlayStation off with that, and I point to this quote, which is from an interview GQ did with PlayStation boss Jim Ryan in regards to releasing games when they're polished and of high quality. Yeah, we're feeling pretty good Good about Returnal, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and Horizon Forbidden West. And you know, there are two approaches to this. You can either hold the date and put out the game irrespective of quality, or you can ship it when it's right. We've always taken the latter approach. There have been some fairly high profile instances of publishers trying the former approach. Now, whether you love Jim Ryan or hate Jim Ryan or believe what he's saying here, it's clear he's a bit salty about what happened with Cyberpunk. I don't know if this quote is necessarily in direct reference to Cyberpunk, but the interview is from as recent as February of this year when I think the whole Cyberpunk debacle was still ongoing in some capacity in some high profile way. It makes this statement Sony Interactive Entertainment made to Polygon in reaction to the news of Cyberpunk's return even more interesting. In a statement to Polygon, Sony confirmed that Cyberpunk 2077 will return to the PlayStation Store. It also cautioned users against playing the game on a base PlayStation 4 until CD Projekt Red fixes some more issues. So you still got Sony out there saying, please don't play this game on a base PS4. It's probably good advice. I can't speak for how it has been recently, but as of, I want to say several months ago, it still wasn't too great on PS5. Obviously, we're expecting the current gen upgrade sometime this year, and I think that's probably going to be the best place, aside from a high-end PC, of course, to play Cyberpunk. 
CD Projekt Red has had some rough months, to put it lightly. The disastrous launch of Cyberpunk, multiple hacks and data breaches, and leaks regarding their current roadmaps for the game. Leaks regarding the hack source code, some mixed messaging, etc. I've said this before, and I'm probably going to kick myself for saying it again since I've been wrong multiple times now. Hopefully with the game returning to the PlayStation Store, it begins to start looking up for them, which I've said in the past, and I've been wrong multiple times in the past, but I really do hope this is a turning point for them. June 21st, it will be back, and look, again, I haven't played the game lately, but I think, honestly, if you haven't gotten it yet, maybe hold out for the current gen upgrades that are hopefully coming soon and see if they're any better or perform better because underneath everything and all my critiques and criticism of Cyberpunk, it is a solid game and is a shame it's released and subsequently the months following have been shrouded in controversy. Anyway folks, that's it. Cyberpunk is coming back to the PlayStation storefronts June 21st and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know by giving it a thumbs down. Comment some of your thoughts and also smash that subscribe button. Just not too hard. You might break it and I need to save it for everyone. Thanks for watching. Watching. I'll talk to you all soon. I love you all. Uh, maybe.